You think too much. You should just shut up and play your music. <laughs> okay, so maybe that shut up part was a little harsh. But I'm sure you as a musician or as a working artist have heard that phrase sometime in the last recent history, last couple years. You think too much. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not true. And anybody who says you think too, too much to you is wanting to do the thinking for you. In that, they're wanting to control you somehow and make you think like you overanalyze every situation about yourself as a musician, either as a working artist or in the studio or especially with your music business principles. My name is Kev Rowe. I'm a working musician. I have over 150 songs on Spotify. I've released 10 albums. I've been in two bands. I've toured all over the country doing over 2,000 shows. And I'm also a playlist curator on Submit Hub. Um, so go check out my music. Yes, it's tough being a working musician. There is a lot going on. And I'm the first person to promote building a team of valuable people around you who you trust, who have skills, and can help your career grow. But, and let's talk about the environment that we live in as working musicians. There's a lot to do, obviously. You've got everything on the digital side, whether it be... Um, well, let's start with recording, making your albums, so record, writing your songs, all the work that you do as a musician, rehearsing, practicing, learning, writing your songs, <laughs> recording in the studio, pre-production, uh, finding, mixing, and mastering, and all the, all the music stuff. Then there's the social media. Ah! we got to make all this content. You've got to make not only uh, posts, but you got to do long form content. You've got to do short form content. You've got to learn Facebook ads. Maybe you, you're into e email marketing. Maybe you have the texting list. There's a lot going on. I have even scratched the surface of booking. If you want to actually go out and play gigs, somebody's got to get on the phone and like sell your band or you as a solo artist. And if, you, if you're not doing it yourself, you got to find someone who's, who's already in the business who's doing that. Maybe you want a manager, somebody who can help you oversee all this, or more importantly, a manager with serious connections who can open doors for you with other people in your genre or in the real music business. Yes, I'm all about teamwork. You got to build this fantastic team and of people that you trust. I mean, it's inevitable. But when people on the team start turning to you and going, you think too much. You just need to play music and focus on that. All they're trying to do is manipulate you. They just want you to go along with their plan of how things should go. Really, this spills over into personal in your personal life too. I would apply this same principle to family, friends, associates, anyone you network with who says the phrase, you think too much, I, is an immediate red flag for me. When I hear it, I go, okay, this person's trying to control me by doing the thinking for me. Here's the truth. You need to think about absolutely everything. <laughs> and the other truth is, is you're not thinking enough. There's a lot to think about here. <laughs> You're a working artist. You've got to balance every plate and every dish and piece of silver that in your house <laughs> to get to keep this thing going. And all the things that I just described require thought. You've got to think about what kind of artist you want to be. You got to think about your song lyrics. You got to think about your sound. Like you should definitely be thinking. So when I'm here on Submit Hub reviewing songs that come to me from independent artists in consideration to be on my Spotify playlists, 
I've got a huge Spotify playlist network of over 20,000 listeners who listen to my genre of music every single day. So when I'm getting submissions on SubmitHub as a playlist curator, I can feel the amount of thinking that you've done on the entire submission process. I can immediately see it when I see your album cover come up. I go, oh, wow, there's something going on here. This person really well thought out where they were standing when this picture was taking, taken or where they were looking with their eyes or what are they thinking about in the picture that represents who they are as an artist? Like, where are they trying to bring me as the person looking at their album cover? That's just the album cover. Everything else I look at too, and, and the thoughts go through my mind. How much thinking is this person doing about themselves as a brand and as an artist and all the other musical components? So when I'm, when I'm looking at the little message that you send to me, I'm, I'm going, wow, they really thought that out. They said, hey, Kev, I have gone and listened to your feel-good country songs, and I really think that my music would play well next to it. Awesome. You just went to the top of the list. There's a real good chance you're getting on my playlist. Then, of course, I'm listening to your music. I'm, I'm spending super high-quality time listening to every note that you're playing. And I can tell when... I mean, I can tell when you've thought about everything. If the, if the microphone on your acoustic guitar is three inches away from the, the neck or six inches away from the bridge, I can hear that. If the drums were recorded to a click track or not, of course I can hear that. If the singer is having a problem in this range of this song, they should have thought about that. <laughs> so that's just in the process of me looking at your submit hub submissions. Everything else about your brand needs to be thought over just as deeply. What you're wearing, if you got a hat on, um, if you're pretty, how, how are you going to do your hair? What kind of dress are you wearing? What kind of shirt? What kind of shoes do you wear? All of this needs to be well thought, thought out ahead of time, and in many cases requires a certain amount of experimentation based on those thoughts to like take action on it because you're gonna fail <laughs> on some of these thoughts. You need to keep having ideas and just trying them over and over again, not just with your music, not just with your brand as an artist, with your business decisions. You're gonna decide to work with people based on thoughts and it won't work out with some of them. You'll find that you just don't have similar business styles. Other people, you're going to experiment with working with and you're not sure if it's going to work out. Then you'll be with them for 20 years. And all that you're like, wow, I really love how this has grown. So where are you putting your music in the world? Which venues do you play? How far do you want to travel? How much do you want to charge? Like everything requires thought and you as the artist are the leader of this project like till the end. So on one hand, you should be happy because you have the power to control your own career as an artist and your own life as an artist and it can go as long as you want. So you've got time to make these thoughts. On the other hand, there's the pressure of having all those thoughts. <laughs> so yeah, don't be too hard on yourself, man. Don't let other people control you in this world just because you're an artist. Like now has never been a better time to like create your own career path as a musician, either online or doing gigs or however you want to do it. There's lots of ways you can do it. But careful consideration is what I recommend, and lots of it. Don't let other people do your thinking on your behalf. Definitely consider other people's thoughts and be open-minded. 
Like, I think that's pretty important. You want to take in all the data and, and all the input you get from the rest of the world. So it's not like you're the only person thinking. <laughs> Definitely be open to other people and let that creep into your thoughts. Like, those two things are really important, that you're doing th thinking and taking in some of their thoughts. But yeah, I guess this is kind of just a little rant video today because... Someone a while ago told me that I think too much, and it's not the first time. It's, it's happened, I mean, actually, probably every family member, every friend, and every other musician I've ever worked with has told me I think too much. <laughs> but I will not let it stop me from thinking. It's important. I'll see you later. Hey, subscribe to my videos if you haven't yet. Bye. You don't think too much. I love you. Keep thinking.